One of the Yudia Continent dungeons takes the name of the Morai Ruins. It can be found in the Saland Hill area. To be precise, in the top left side of the map, where you can notice the submerged ruins report. This dungeon cannot be accessed until you will reach the mine quest called Morai Ruins. Once inside, if you will open your map, you will notice that there are 11 Mokoko seeds to find in this location. The first can be found immediately after completing the objective that will ask you to jump onto the collapsed wall. Proceeding a little bit further, staying on the left, you will find a broken floor. If you will defeat all the enemies around this location, will appear an arrow you can use. Jumping up here will lead you toward another group of enemies you have to defeat as well. Once done, approach the plant under the hut in order to find the Mokoko seed you came for. For the next one, proceed a little bit further and complete the other dungeon objective. Until you will receive the one that will ask you to open three gates blocking the water. Once you will approach the second gate lever, you have to execute a small parkour movement. After which, instead of going directly to the lever located to the bottom left side, instead proceed to the top left side and defeat all the enemies until the hut. This action will reveal an arrow under the entrance of one of the houses. Using it will allow you to reach a wooden balcony. On top of it you will find the second Mokoko seed. At this point it's time to use the second lever. Then proceed to the top right until you will reach a zipline you have to use next. Immediately after you will find a lot of enemies to fight in this area. You need to defeat them all. Then before turning to the right you will notice a broken floor to the left. Approach it because there is a secret passage you have to use. Once down there, on the bottom left, you have to defeat two enemies guarding the next passage. Defeating them will reveal a new passage in front of you. Use it in order to reach a stone snake head. Above its eye, you will find the third Mokoko seed, while another one can be found in the top right corner of its head. Then you have to proceed further, defeat a boss and uh, pass through some thorny wall area. After this you will receive a new objective called defeat the Morai clay shamans and you have to use a zipline to reach the next area. While proceeding further after the zipline you will notice several enemies with the shield that you have to defeat. Then proceed a little bit further until the dead end. Here you will notice on the top left a wallet passage. If you get close to it, you will be able to notice that you can attack the wall. You have to do so in order to destroy the wall and enter inside the secret area. Here in the center of the room you will find the fifth Mokoko seed. While on its top right side, near some vases, you will find the sixth. Now proceed further until you have to use a jumping pathway, after which proceed further and turn to the bottom left. Immediately after you will notice another wall passage, but this time you won't be able to attack it. To make it vulnerable, proceed further and defeat all the enemies you will find ahead. Once done, go back and you will be able to attack the wall. This action will show an arrow you have to interact with. Once down there, check the top right corner in order to find the seventh Mokoko seed. For the next one, proceed further until you will reach the area where you have to use a floating floor. Use it and once you reach the other side, proceed upstairs and reach the second arrow. But before using it, check the bottom left side where you will notice a column connecting another floor. Use it in order to reach the area. Down there there are two columns and you have to check the right side of the upper one. This because here you will be able to find and interact with the 8 Mokoko seed. While proceeding a little bit to the right you will find another one on the ground between the rocks. Now go back up and use the climbing passage. Once done clear the area and you will notice another arrow to use. But before doing so, use the column to the right side in order to reach a lower section near the waterfalls. Then use the passage between the columns in order to reach an upper section. 
where in front of the oasis you will find the tense Mokoko seed. While slightly to the top right, near the overhanging, you will find the element and last Mokoko seed of this dungeon. 